Security officials have described it as an assassination attempt. The attack happened seconds after Mohammed Ibrahim left his house in Nasser city on his way to work. Some analysts suspect the attack is linked to Islamist groups in Sinai. There has been a sharp increase in attacks there since the ousting of Mohammed Morsi. And the military has launched an offensive against militants. The explosion is a message from the terrorist groups to the regime that after the military siege in Sinai, their operations will move to the capital. Investigators found the owner of the car used in the bombing. The owner says it was stolen weeks ago. The explosives have not been linked publicly to any group, but some suspect Morsi's followers in the Muslim Brotherhood. Nasser City was a Brotherhood stronghold, and Ibrahim has been overseeing a recent crackdown on the Brotherhood members. Even before that crackdown, the Brotherhood were fierce critics. I don't know, where did the interior minister get this manhood? During Morsi, he couldn't do a thing. He's not a man. We don't respect him. The Brotherhood has condemned the bombing and says it's an attempt to discredit the organization and that it will continue its campaign of peaceful resistance. But hours after the attack, the government announced plans to dissolve the Brotherhood's NGO status. A day on from the bombing, officials have cleared the scene. But it's a reminder of what terrorism can do to a nation. And to supporters of the interim government, it's evidence that the country is now at war with terrorists. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.